Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So we're going to jump right into it. If you want a personal reading from me, to roll lessons, to roll sessions, if you want to order any of my decks, declare and decree deck, or any of my other decks that I have created here, um, you can always email me, miniature altars, t-shirts, hair or body oils. These are the miniature altars for those of you who have never seen them. Hair or body oils. Check the description box for my email. You will only find it at that particular email. You will only be able to contact me at that particular email. Don't get fooled or scammed by any of the shysters out here. So let's jump right into it, y'all. I'm going to start off with my Declare and Decree deck. See, what do you want to clear? What do you need to clear from your energy? So whatever comes out is what you want to write on paper and burn. Give thanks to the most high in your spiritual team for helping you to clear the energy, okay? So I'm just going to pull a random. All wicked agendas known and unknown performed against myself and my lineage is now destroyed in spirit and in flesh. All wicked agendas known and unknown performed against myself and my lineage is now destroyed in spirit and in flesh. You may be able to see that, you may not. That's my darker print, but I do have lighter print now. That's what I have available, so you can always tap in. So I'll take this one at the bottom as well. All thoughts, conditioning, and indoctrination that does not serve my highest good is now destroyed in spirit and in flesh. All thoughts, conditioning, and indoctrination that does not serve my highest good is now destroyed in spirit and in flesh. So you can definitely screenshot that. So let's jump right into it. What do y'all need to know right now? This card flew out. Use your intuition. So what is your intuition telling you? Your intuition is telling you something. Listen to it. You're getting that nudge, that gut feeling. Some of y'all, you know, everybody gets different signs and symptoms, whether it's physical uh, symptoms, dreams, visions, premonitions, however it comes to you, your intuition is guiding you to pay attention to something. So what is that? So karmic debt return. Hmm. Some sort of karma is boomeranging back on somebody here or on multiple people. Your intuition is telling you that there's some shifts that's happening. Maybe this is why folks is acting crazy. You know, if you find that your intuition is kind of eluding to something and it's like, okay, mm, that person over there, they acting a fool because they dealing with some karma here. They starting to see that it is their karma to go through particular things. Why? Because you set yourself free. You set yourself free. Let me clarify karmic debt return with this other deck. Karmic debt returned. Your intuition is telling you that there are people that are going through changes here. Hmm. King of Swords. You may have had to pull out your sword and cut some people out here. Okay? You may have had to speak some truths, put some things out on the table. And this is what allowed... For that karma to come back to them two of cups okay let's see king of swords two of cups it's like you're making cuts to the wrong types of people and welcoming in the right ones yeah five of swords yeah that's the problem so somebody is receiving karmic debt because they probably had the opportunity to have the two of cups with you to have a balanced relationship where you could work as a team, you know, because you want to see everybody win out there chosen. You're not trying to be in competition with nobody except for the old version of yourself. So you, this person, they probably had the opportunity, but you had to lay some things out on the table because apparently they don't, they didn't see, they couldn't see. So you had to help them see by setting yourself free. Hmm. Interesting because set free is here and you have two people that are, tying, you know, binding themselves to one another, right? So they had the opportunity to go with you. That's what this is showing me. They had the opportunity to take this path with you and you could have won together. You could have been winning together, but you had to use this knife to cut yourself free from that person, right? Set yourself free because your intuition was telling you that they wasn't about to write. Maybe you detected that they was in some form of competition with you. Something was brought to your attention. You gained full clarity. And so now they're receiving, they're receiving karma. Why? Because ultimately what was shown to you is this. Look at this. Five of swords. Now we go from you being willing to work with this person, to build with this person, 
to win with this person, right? To you having to cut yourself free and gaining a clarity that this person ain't who they said they was. They ain't really trying to see you win. They just want to win. They want to see you fail. Why? Because look at this five of swords. Is this person not braggadocious? Is this person not trying to put themselves on a pedestal because they have the medal? But with the five of swords energy, that means they cheated along the way. They did some underhanded things along the way to get to where they are or where they think they are. Because see, karmic debt is being returned. So they're really not, it's all illusions for whoever this person is. They're living in a state of illusion because they're not recognizing. It's almost like, hmm, it's no different than the colonizers, right? They go, they take the land by force, rape the women, and then they put themselves in the superior position, right? They put themselves there, right? Not the, not the, original people of the land. No, they put themselves on this high pedestal because they have weapons and they're able to threaten and do all of these criminal activities, right? But then the people who they cause the problems for are now far behind, right? Trying to pick themselves back up and to get themselves back in alignment, create some form of security for themselves. But yet these same colonizers are walking around acting like they won something. How the hell did you win when you cheated the whole time? How the hell did you win when you was not operating from integrity, when it was not even a fair chance for the opponent to actually be in the race, right? You don't even give that person the opportunity. But see, the thing is though, Chosen, y'all didn't want to be in competition with nobody because you don't see where it's necessary. You don't see where it's beneficial. But for this person's ego or these people, they needed to win at all costs. They did not care what they had to do. They didn't care who they had to step on. They just wanted to make sure that they could fool you and say, hey, we a team. Come on, let's do this together. So you sitting up there binding yourself to this person or these people like, yeah, you know, I want to see you win too. We're on the same page. Let's go ahead and do this. And then come to find out, you, or your intuition starts to tell you something, something just ain't right. Something just ain't right. So you go ahead and you cut yourself free based on the truth that you've been given. And once you set yourself free, oh, now karmic debt is returned. Why? Because ultimately the truth comes out that these people or this person wasn't nothing but a manipulator, a liar. Okay. A liar. Look at this. The page of cups. They tried to come in, offering you, you know, emotions, trying to act like they're so sorry. Oh, woe is me. They're so sorry, right? But it was all lies, see, because they just want to be free. They don't want to be trapped. That's the only reason why they'll come back in begging and apologizing, because see, real talk is the Eight of Swords. This is where they are. Their karma is that now they'll be in prison in their own minds. Okay, karmic justice is now coming through. Okay, spiritual judgment is now cracking down on them for what they did to you. But see, they're trying to blind themselves. They don't want to see the truth about it. So they'll come in offering fake apologies because they don't want to be stuck in their head. They don't want to be in prison in their own mind and have to deal with the fact that they really did mess over a good person. That's what that's all about. Okay, let's clarify this page of cups. Page of cups. Your spiritual team will never let you sleep on the truth, okay? The Most High Mother and Father is always going to reveal everything to you. Even when you have the best of intentions and you, you want to win, you really genuinely wanted to see that person win and you was willing to take them with you, the Most High will always expose their hand. Always. Look at that. The apology is clarified by never look back. Never look back. So they'll come through offering these emotional sentiments, trying to act like they're so sweet and kind, Never look back. Never look back. Let them stay right here imprisoned in their own mind, dealing with the karma because they can't get out of it. They can't set themselves free from this. But see, what their hopes is that you'll be able to offload that karmic debt that's been returned back to them. You'll be able to remove that from them so that they can be free, so that they can be mentally free, so that they don't have to think about the, the trauma and the pain and the manipulation and the lies that they 
uh, told in order to try to act like it was getting them ahead. Please, you never win when you're cheating along the way. Never. Why? Because you have angels protecting you chosen. They will not let you dash your toe. They thought, see, this person, they, I don't know why. Why did they think you wasn't protected? That's the problem. Why did they think that you would not be protected from their foolery and from their deceit? You know, these beings, they have, they really don't believe in the spiritual realm. That's the problem. They do a lot of spell work, right? They do a lot of wicked deeds, right? But they don't believe in the higher source. They don't believe that there's angelic beings, that your spiritual team is always surrounding you, looking out for the best interests of you. They don't believe that. They think they can just violate spiritual law all day long and that they will never receive the consequences of that. Why didn't they know that you was protected and that they would be unmasked? Why didn't they know that? Let me see. Maybe they thought she was naive. You know, two of cups, you coming in like, let's, let's do this together. Come on. I want to see you. Come on. Let me help you. Let me help you win. You out there trying to help these karmic beings to win because you want to see everybody win chosen. So they must have thought you was naive and stupid. That's what they thought. Okay. What is this? The four of pentacles in the reverse. See, they thought that you wasn't protected because you opened yourself up. You wasn't protecting or guarding yourself anymore, right? You decided to open yourself up in some way, shape, or form. That's why they thought you wasn't protected because they figure, okay, well, this person, they can't be protected if they would open themselves up and them, this is in their mind. They knowing, they know that they're coming in with wicked intentions, right? Egotistical purposes, just for the sake of trying to one-up you, you know, to try to hurt you because they're hurt, hurt people, hurt people, right? But they figured that because you opened up and because you wasn't as guarded as you used to be, that you must not be protected. But they got another thing coming, okay? See, look at this, seven of, no, this is a queen of pentacles because you're always taking care of yourself, always. You got the antidote, the antidote to everything. I don't care who hurts you. I don't care what they try to do to trigger you. You always have the antidote to heal yourself and to get yourself back rooted and grounded always and it never takes you long but see they do not have that divine connection they do not have access to their akashic records to where they can pick themselves right back up no but you can they can make you mad yesterday and by the next day you out here having a good time enjoying life laughing being jovial focusing in on your passions and your purpose as if nothing ever happened meanwhile they're over here trapped stuck in their head dealing with the karma of what they did to you because they really thought that they was going to walk away feeling satisfied. They thought that trying to one-up you was going to give them pure satisfaction and that they would be able to walk away and leave you maimed and broken and hurt to deal with it, that you was going to be sitting over there in victimhood mentality, crying every day like, oh my God, they had it all twisted. Who the hell do these stupid karmics think they are? Who do they think they are, y'all? Look at this, temperance in the, revert, in the reverse. They thought that they was going to throw you off emotionally, that you would not be able to get back in alignment. I mean, gosh, that's somebody to have. When I tell you this person got a big ego, but they about to go through an ego death right here. They getting ready to find out that their presence is not necessary in the chosen's life. That was a privilege. That was a privilege. They should have been honored to be in your presence, but instead they come around trying to see if they can throw you off guard just to make themselves feel better when you in fact was trying to see them win too. Oh no. Karma. Karma is, karma can be a B and karma can be your best friend. Okay. And for you chosen, karma is always your best friend because you operate from integrity. You have the right intentions. You always did. You know, even for those who are constantly coming up, trying to come up with ways to scheme and plan to hurt you and to bring down your energy and to throw you off focus. They just want to see you lose so bad because they're not doing well. Look at that. Take your power back. That's exactly what you did. You took your power back. So while you sitting up here willing to share your wisdom, share your, your love, sharing your time, your energy, some of you even sharing your finances. I mean, you sharing with this person, trying to see them win with you. How could a person be so foolish to not appreciate 
the compassion and the love that is shown by a chosen seed that truly genuinely has good intentions, a chosen seed that really genuinely wants to see other people win. How could you be so foolish to fumble the ball and to take what's not yours to try to, you know, because they did some underhanded crap along the way. Believe that, but your intuition, it did tell you that this person, your intuition been telling you this person about to receive karma. They are receiving karmic debt and that's why they're coming back in to apologize because they don't want to be in their head. They don't want to be up, stressed out because now, see energy. One thing about these karmics, they do not understand energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred, trans or transmuted, right? So they try to transfer their negative energy off onto you because they're broken. And they see the problem is You've been winning, Chosen. You've been winning. But they didn't want to see you win with them because that would just add one more trophy or one more badge or, you know, um, reward to your huge collection of winnings, right? You already winning. You winning. You winning. You've been winning. You're doing well. Beautiful things are coming in for you. So the reason why they wanted to clip you up is because they figured, well, you already winning. So why would they want to add to your wealth, right? Even though you trying to pull them up so that they can start getting wealth for themselves, so that they can start doing better for themselves in anticipation that somehow, you know, they'll reciprocate, right? Reciprocity. That's what true love, true friendship, true partnership is really all about. Reciprocity, working as a team, right? If you win and I'm winning, if you if I'm winning, you win, and that's how it's supposed to be, right? That's what you thought they was coming in for. That was your intention chosen. But they said in their mind, hold on, if they start winning too, now they have to reciprocate. Now they gotta share with you chosen, but now you winning too much already. So they would never feel like they could catch up with you. If they have to come in and now share their little tiny trophy with you, right? If they got to come and share their little tiny trophy with you, then they would never catch up. Matter of fact, it's not even about catching up. They are, they've they always wanted to be ahead of you. That's been the ultimate goal is to feel superior to you in every area of life. So to find out that you winning so well and that you doing so well, and here you are willing to pull them up to try to help them. See, they've done so much BS they have created so much karma for themselves that even though you're coming, you came in chosen to try to help pull some of these people up, they still weren't going to have much. By the time they would have gotten done, you know, if you would have helped them get to the finish line, they still would have walked away with very little. So they was afraid that they would have to share with you the little. And the fact of the matter is you wasn't even hard up or pressed for what they had to give you. Just some got dog on respect just a little bit of honor and integrity, some loyalty, right? You weren't you weren't going to be pressed for their little coins or whatever reward it is that they got. You probably would have let them have that thing, right? You ain't got to share it. But see, the problem is, it's all about ego, manipulation and winning at all costs. So they had the wrong intentions and they thought it was going to throw you off emotionally. They thought it was going to have you sitting over there just crying, sad, miserable, unfocused, unbalanced, ungrounded, victimhood mentality, feeling abandoned, feeling used, feeling left out in the cold. That's what they thought. OK, they thought that they was punishing you. But instead, it ended up punishing them. Why? Because again, you took your power back and decided you ain't never looking back because you gave them the opportunity. Let me clarify. Let's clarify this five of swords. Let's clarify this five of swords where these beings would be willing to do anything to win at all costs. Even when they saw your heart, they saw your intentions, they saw you being willing to open up. You opened up to them. You let your guard down. You was willing to give. You might not have given that much, but you gave them enough to pull them up. And they still sabotaged it. Let's see. What is this five of swords all about? 
What is this five of swords all about? But the beautiful thing is the most high, just as they are receiving karmic debt for what they did against you, you are receiving good karma and justice for what you did from the kindness of your heart chosen. Okay. You always do. The, the pendulum swings both ways. Okay. Let's see. What is this? So we're clarifying the five of swords, the five of swords, this energy right here, where they're willing to win at all costs. And it was all about their ego was wicked intentions. They had wicked intentions from the very got the all going beginning. Wicked intentions from the very beginning. What the hell did they think they was going to win? Let me see. Wicked intentions. What did they think they was going to win by trying to, by sabotaging their connection with you? Okay. And trying to one up you. What did they think they was going to win? I need to understand this one. Cause you know, stu you know, stupid people win stupid prizes. So I guess they, they wanted a stupid prize. Is that what they wanted? Eight of, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Now, this is interesting, okay? Because this card came out in the reverse. They thought they was going to slow you down and stop you in your tracks. When we turn it upright, what do you see? You see a person that's taken off full speed ahead. What they thought they was going to win was they was going to slow you down, clip you up so that you would be stopped, stunted in your tracks because they needed you to slow down so that they could catch up and then surpass you. It was all about breaking you all the way down by any means necessary, but they messed around. They done, they done effed around and found out, y'all. They done effed around and found out because this is now them. They couldn't stop you, but that's what they was hoping to get from this thing, to slow you down. Let's see, what else did they think they was going to get from this? They thought they was going to gain some traction and momentum. If they could slow you down and stop you from moving towards your destiny, you know, they because they understood that if you didn't stop to help them out, they would never catch up with you. They would never catch up with you. But you stopped and said, you know what? I want to help you out. You saw this little broken, you know, maimed, raggedy thing, you know, just barely hanging on. And you say, you know what? Let me help. Let me clean you up a little bit. Let me give you a couple of crumbs and a little morsel of bread, you know, a little drink of water. Let, let me clean you up a little bit and we can take this little run together. Matter of fact, you slowed down just to go run a quick little marathon because there was nothing th to gain from this for you besides the fact that you are just a naturally loving person with beautiful intentions for other people. You wouldn't, you would, it was nothing to gain from this because you already been rewarded. Your overflow has already been established. That's what these stupid beings do not realize. Your overflow, your reward, your recognition from the most high and your, and your spiritual team has been set in stone. It cannot be removed because you've done things that surpass the, you have done things that surpass the energy of most beings that exist on this earth. From a space of love and integrity, you have broken generational curses. You have healed yourself. You have healed your offspring in the future generations. You have broken curses on behalf of other chosen seeds. You have done work to bring down the powers that were. Y'all out here doing things that these beings would never fathom and would never think to do because they're too damn selfish to do something for anybody other than themselves. So when you slow down to give this person a hand in their freaking race, it would not have benefited you none. You would have been more than happy to hand over not only their little trophy, but also yours too. Why? Because you already winning. But see, these foolish beings, they just, they won't get it until they get it. They won't get it until they get it, y'all. Real talk. It's just, it's despicable. It's sad. Look at this. They won't get it until they get it. So now this is what they have to deal with. Now they got to clean up their own mess. And now they call themselves trying to pick up the pieces, but there's nothing to pick up because the milk has already been spilled, honey. You can't do nothing with that except to deal with the heartbreak, deal with the broken pieces. That's all they can do. But this is what they wanted to see you in. Broken, maimed, crying, sad, down, confused, feeling used and abused, you know, hard is hardened. That's what they wanted from you. 
trying to pick up the pieces. Please, do they not know who you are? Do they not know the source by which you receive your power and your energy and your passion and your fuel? You get all of this from the highest source of all sources because you are divinely connected as a chosen seed. The most high is always replenishing you. All you got to do is ask. You might have felt some pain for being betrayed by this person because you had what you know what hurts a chosen seed. It's not. It's not that people do things against you because at this point you already used to malicious creatures, right? You've been through that all of your life. It's not that. What hurts the most is that you did things genuinely from your heart. And when you do things from your heart and somebody turns around and purposely tries to backstab you and then you come to find out that it was just all about their ego, it was all about seeing you lose. That's all they cared about was seeing you lose so that they could win. It was all about competition. That's the most painful thing. That is the most painful thing, y'all, for a chosen seed. But the beautiful thing is that that replenishing of energy that the Most High has always given to you, that overflow of love, it just, it, you know, it folds you, it, it covers you. And you just, by the time you look up, you, you're, all your tears are wiped away. You feeling good. You feeling vibrant. You feeling energized. And guess what happens to that energy that cannot be destroyed? It goes right back to the sender. But guess what happens when it gets right back to this being that tried to slow you down? Guess what happens when it gets right back to this being that was manipulating situations and in competition with you? They have no supply to heal them from this type of pain right here. So they trying to scrape you know, trying to find ways to pick up the pieces, but they don't have that energy. They don't have that connection to the Most High Mother and Father and their spiritual team. They don't have it. And so the pain for them is something that is, is overwhelming. It's hard to bear. And the only way that they could they can try to free themselves is to get back into your energy once more. So they come in acting naive, acting innocent, coming in with these fake apologies because they feel that if they can get you to loosen up, to open up again and to come out of this, you know, King of Swords energy, then somehow they can free themselves from the entrapment and bondage that they put themselves in. How foolish could you be? How foolish could you be? So now some of these beings are getting ready to go because they don't want to face the music, right? They don't want to face what they've placed themselves in. So they're going to blindfold themselves. So when they, when you blindfold yourself, what do you do? You try to numb yourself. So some of these beings will start getting into addictive patterns again. You know, if they had addictive patterns, they're, they're going to start to drown in that because they don't want to see the reality of what they've done. They don't want to see the reality of the karma that is playing out in their lives because at the end of the day, they still, now they have to not only deal with the pain of what they tried to place on you, but now they're stuck. Now they ain't got nobody. Ain't who, how many people do you know? You're living in a world full of karmics and very few chosen seed. So they don't have nobody that's willing to say, come on, I want to see you win. So let, let's work together so that I can pull you up and watch you win too. Let's do this hand in hand. They ain't got nobody that's going to do that mess for them. So now they got to deal with the pain of what they did, the pain of losing you, the pain of not having anybody else to help them. Also, they got to deal with what really is going to hurt them the most is that now you still thriving and moving leaps and bounds, even though you slow down, stop, double back and help this being, you still way ahead of the game. They can't even catch up. Ain't that crazy? They did all of that to try to slow you down. That's how you know the most high. It's always guaranteed. The most high set it up for you to win. The Most High set it up for you to win. You cannot lose. Unless, of course, as a chosen seed, you decide to disconnect from the Most High in your, in your spiritual team. But you would never do that. You're too awakened for that. You love the Most High too much for that. So it, it, they could never stop you. So now, and the funny part is that you just, you pacing yourself. You pacing yourself. And you way ahead of the game. Meanwhile... This is them stuck. They ain't going nowhere. Stuck and they're not going anywhere. Too bad. So sad. Cause see the most high, they, they, who knows the most high probably said, you know what? I'm going to extend some grace to this particular karmic over here. Right? Let me see.
see. Why did the Most High guide you to reach back and try to help this person? Why did the Most High guide you to do that? You, you must have felt sad for them. You must have felt sorry for them. But why, why did you feel led? Because I can't say, I mean, maybe the Most High didn't guide you to do it. Maybe you didn't listen to your intuition at that time. But why did you feel led to help this person to win? Why did you feel led to do it? For some of you, this message may not resonate right now. It might resonate later. Let's see. Hold on. Look at this, y'all. Just as I knew it, the judgment card came out. You felt led to help this person because you wanted to try to set them free. You wanted to try to give them some grace knowing that it wasn't but so much they could do with their hands tied, right? So you saw that this person was in a very compromising situation and that they was already under judgment, right? You already knew that this person was under judgment. They was dealing with a lot of karma as it was and they was their hands was tied. So you felt compelled to help them because you knew that in their position, they wouldn't really be able to get too much further ahead with their hands bound. So all you did was come back and say, you know what? Let me cut that. Let me cut that rope for you. Let me, let me burn that away for you so that you can have some free hands to do what you need to do. So that, that burning away would be representation of you giving this person a few dollars to get back and forth on a bus or giving this person uh, some money to get some food or giving this person some words of wisdom or some encouragement or, encouragement or guidance or showing this person love or giving this person some rides back and forth or helping them with their children. Whatever it is, you did these things because you knew that their hands was tied. So for their hands to be tied and for you to be in a position to untie their hands, you was already free. You was already free. And they hated that. Secretly, they hated watching you be free while they was in a bind. And they was afraid that while they were sitting over there bound because of the judgment that they was under, that you was taking leaps and bounds far ahead of them and that they would never be able to catch up. So they said, okay, let me see if I can trap this person. Let me see if I can... Give them some sweet words because see when their hands are tied, they can't offer you a damn thing except for some lip service, right? So they came in offering some lip service. Oh, I want to be a team. Oh, I just, I want to do better. You know, I'm ready to change my life. I want to win. I want to see you win too. I want us to be partners. I want us to be friends. I want us to be family again. I want us to be lovers again. Whatever the case may be, business partners, whatever, right? Because from a distance, they hated the fact that they was chained and bound while they was watching you run leaps and bounds ahead of them. This was killing their soul. Well, some of most of these beings are soulless any damn way. But this was this was taking them up out of here emotionally watching this. And there was nothing they could do to stop you. So the only way that they could stop you from getting that far ahead is to say, hey, hey, I need some help. Please come help me. I can't, I can't get myself out of this situation. You're the only one. I just, I need some help. You know, I care about you. I, I love that you're winning, but can you please just, and they, they pulled on your heartstrings and you know what? You double back. Okay. You double back and you said, all right, let me go and see what I can do to help them. Let's see. Come on. L let me help you out. Let, let's go arm in arm. I'm going to take you to help you to win just a little bit, to get a little bit ahead of the game. I see you in a compromising position. And they said, you know what? Behind the scenes, the whole time, the whole time they had wicked intentions. The whole time they were scheming and plotting on how they could win just to get ahead of you, just to slow you down. And it turned, it backfired something serious. This mess backfired something serious on these things, okay? Nine of Cups. Cause it was all about ego. That's all it was about. Self-gratification, self-gratification and ego. But at the end of the day, you still win. You still win chosen. So I'll just take one card just to see where things are headed for this silly being who decided to misuse and abuse something that they should have been grateful for. Because that karmic debt is being returned. Now they're stuck. Now they're trapped. It's not going to be easy getting up out of this one without you chosen. Because ain't nobody else going to take the time out to double back for these beings. Nope. It's just not going to happen. Look at this. The emperor is in the reverse. The emperor is in the reverse. They get no throne. They don't get to sit on their throne. They're not in their power. 
They lose everything. They can't boss up. They can't win in the energy of being the emperor in a reverse. You might as well be a freaking page if you're going to be an emperor in a reverse. So now they're going to try to control everybody and control everything because they're mad that they don't get that position. Look at that. Oh, that's the king of wands in a reverse. King of wands in a reverse. You have no creativity. You're not a leader. You ain't no boss. This person loses their position. Anything that they could have gotten, they lose it. Why? Because this is doggone chess. This ain't checkers, baby. See, they playing a game and they don't even know the doggone rules. They don't even know the strategy. They don't even know how to critically think. They don't even know how to play the doggone game, but yet they out here playing games, trying to play with the big boys and don't even know the strategy. You get to move forward, Chosen confidently and swiftly you are moving forward and they're going to have to watch you do it it is what it is okay because you're stacking your coins you're doing well you're planning you're investing you are nurturing the seeds that you have planted and nobody no one not them not their flunkies not you know the other karmic beings that want to work with the work with them to try to work up against you none of them will stop what is already etched in stone you are a winner and you will continue to be a winner because the most high mother and father said it was so. That's my message for you all. I love you. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to y'all next time.